Andrea is going to experience emo makeup. Do you know what emo makeup is? I, I have an idea. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, so first of all, I always start with my primer on the face. And I always put it next to the foundation. Sometimes I add a little foundation so I can see what color I want. So I do the primer. There's a little bit of the foundation in there. Just like foundation, the foundation brush. This is my favorite thing, my favorite tool. And I'm using nice Armani foundation. And right on the nose. Andrea has perfect skin. I hate you. <laughs> Beautiful skin tone. Olive, even skin. So she doesn't need too much foundation. But we are going to do an emo look, which has a lot of powder and a lot of darkness. And like I said, I like to bring the foundation down on the neck. I never like a weird line on the jaw. I hate that. So the second step, I'm going to use some powder. And as you noticed, I wasn't using much powder on anybody. But on the emo look, we want a nice matte finish. So I'm going to do nice fun powder as much as I want. I'm actually using the Studio Fix because what it is, it's, it's actually powder foundation. So I'm sort of doubling up. I put a liquid foundation and the Studio Fix on top. Using the Studio Fix on top of liquid makeup just gives it more of a matte, matte look instead of just using a sheer powder. I'm going to throw a little more foundation underneath the eyes. Just make sure the skin looks very even and very matte. So here I am using liquid foundation under her eyes. I'm gonna take a little brush like this that's got the little hairs on top. You never know what I wanna call this, but it's a very good finishing brush. I'm gonna take that Studio Fix again and just make it very matte looking. You can see the difference when you use the Studio Fix on top of foundation, it just gives that, covers everything. It gives a very matte, matte look. And you can go heavy because this is a nighttime thing. Emo makeup, although people wear it during the day, I call it the night clubbing look. And this is the start of the face for emo makeup. Now we're gonna move on to the eyes.